Today we're gonna to talk about the Godfall roadmap and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here. Welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to talk about the roadmap for Godfall. No, nothing new has come to light since Keith Lee, the CEO of Counterplay Games, gave us his update back in December 2020. But for those that don't know what is actually going on, let me fill you in and then give you my thoughts on what's to come. Back in December 2020, we were given update 2.3.15. In this update was the long awaited quality of life update or QOL update from which I missed doing a video on due to my PC meeting its tragic end. The QOL update was filled to the brim with changes, patches, hotfixes, stability and performance repairs, etc. to help provide a better quality of life for the game. And yes, at that time, the game heavily, heavily needed it. From then till now, we are still having issues with the game glitching, but not as much. The game is in a better place than from where it was prior to the update. We are now in January 2021 which is part of Q1, and in Q1, we are actually supposed to be getting this free, yes, free Primal Content update. I will refer to this update as the PCU in this video as we go on. But so far, the developers haven't said much about what this Primal Content update actually consists of, and technically, as of this video, we are almost one third complete with Q1. All we know about the PCU is that it will have, quote, more challenging content to test your mental. Additionally, there will be a way for you to progress and improve your character even after reaching the max level. More exact details will come at a later date, end quote. So let's go ahead and break everything down in depth with what this actually could mean. More challenging content. To me, this means that the game will be harder and expect nerfs to some of the weapons and augments, probably surety, and anything that does too much damage when stacked, or anything that does too much healing. Next, there will be a way for you to progress and improve your characters even after reaching max level. This tells me that there might be some form of iso or isotope incorporated within the game. For those of you who don't know, isotope or iso is a way to improve your character stats even further and better than augments can. But they actually work in conjunction with augments, so you can't just slap on an ISO and think you'll be good. You need to pair them with augments. These can also come in different rarities. Or the devs could just make better augments, different versions of augments, and make surety and things like it obsolete. Out with the old and in with the new. I will say this though, this is the Primal Content update so we should expect at least one new Valor play with a primal theme to it, and I will be extremely mad if we don't get it. So, when we think of the word primal, what do you mostly think of? Mostly, we think of like a big cat or dinosaurs, right? Godfall already has a lion themed Valor play, which is the Silverman. There is a chance that we may get a T-Rex, Velociraptor, or Sabertooth Tiger themed Valor play. I mean, one could hope, right? <laughs> I could see the release of new Valor Plate skins for the Valor Plates already released. If you had pre-ordered Godfall, you got the red Valor Plate skin for the Typhon, as well as a chrome Valor Plate skin for the Silvermane, Phoenix, and Greyhawk Valor Plates. And if you purchased the Ascended Edition of Godfall, we got the orange Valor Plate skin for the Vertigo, and the gold Valor Plate skin for the Silvermane, Phoenix, and Greyhawk Valor Plates as well. So, seeing new skins for some of the other Valor Plates could be a possibility. Now, let's go over a few things that will definitely not come to the game with the PCU. For starters, we will not be getting a max level increase. If you were hoping for that, I'm sorry, but it probably won't happen. Didn't mean to bust your bubble. Remember, this is a free update and max level increases when it comes to any game are usually released at the same time as a paid content update such as the coming expansion one, which is gonna be coming sometime in Q2 
2021. Now, I am not saying that you will have to purchase Expansion 1 to get a max level increase. What I am saying is that when Expansion 1 is released, that is when we will most likely get the level increase. And this will be for all players, whether you paid for Expansion 1 or not. Let's see, what else? Oh, we definitely won't get any type of microtransactions with the Primal Content update, or any update for that matter. Counterplay Games has already said that Godfall, quote, is not a live service title replete with in-game microtransactions or seasonal passes, end quote. The truth is, we really don't know what is actually to come with the Primal Content update, and that is due to the devs being radio silent since December 17th, 2020. That's well over a month, and now that we are one third into Q1, that's unacceptable. Wait, no, I'm sorry. They did retweet about the Primal Content update on January 8th, 2021, with no new information, and called it a teaser. I mean, how can you call something a teaser if you had already told us about it? I don't get that, <laughs> but okay, let us digress. By now, I feel like we should have at least gotten a date for a reveal stream or even a video on YouTube that showcases what we could expect from the PCU. February is a few days away and all we can do is pretty much hope and wait for some information about the next update. Oh, and before I forget, we probably will not see any matchmaking with the PCU either, but I have a solution for that towards the end of this video. Last but not least, let's talk about everything we know so far about the Godfall Expansion 1 update that is actually coming in Q2. Ready? So far, we know nothing. If you have bought the physical Ascended Edition of Godfall, then we may have some sort of a clue. Inside the physical Ascended Edition of Godfall, we got a voucher for Expansion 1, and it shows a picture of the Phoenix Valor Plate on the front. There is a possibility that Expansion 1 has a backstory on this particular Valor Plate, or it could be nothing, and the Phoenix Valor Plate was just the one that Counterplay Games just picked for the picture. And I'm pretty much gonna go with the second option, where it's just a picture with no meaning. In short, we really can't get excited for an update if we have little to no information on what is to come. Don't get me wrong, I love playing Godfall, minus all of the frustrating issues it's had since launch, and I will keep you guys updated on anything new with Godfall because I do enjoy covering this content. I just wish there was more information to give you guys, let alone more information that was available to the public. And it really seems like everything is more left to speculation than substance. Hopefully, we get more information with the Primal Content update soon, and when we do, I will let you guys know. So, what are you guys hoping that will come with either the Primal Content update or Expansion 1 of Godfall? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Also, we are still adding a lot of people to the Godfall LFG group on the PlayStation Network. So, if you would like to be added to that group, just post your gamer tag below and I will add everyone as soon as possible. The Discord server that I had talked about in my previous video will also be made today and it will be the home for PC and PS5 players in order to look for other players to play with. And with that said, this brings us to the end and I will see you guys in the next video.